All right, everyone, how about a quick three card and a bottom card, uh, Soulmate Energy Short. These are usually just a few minutes long, six, seven minutes on the top side, usually unless I ramble on or feel the need to go into the energy any deeper. But I, I thought here at the end of the day, I didn't have a ton of time to bang out any readings today. I thought I would do this. Uh, this is what is your person thinking and feeling about you right now. It's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you. But if the title brought you in here or you found Steve's Love Tarot, you're here for a reason. This reading is timeless whenever you find it. It's when you're meant to find it. It's a good question to ask right now. Because tomorrow I'm doing a weekly reading where we got Jupiter uh, joining Venus in, in Aries coming up. It's, it's all crammed at the beginning of the week, too. I'll just show you here. I got a, uh, I got a King of uh, Pentacles crossed by lovers here at the bottom of the deck. I'll just show that to you before I start to shuffle. That's my pre-shuffle. I'm not going to take too much time and do a pre-shuffle here on a Soulmate Energy Short. But that's a pretty powerful energy. That, uh, that lover's card, I've been seeing that in a lot of the offline readings lately. I know the energy is there. You know, there's no reason. The energy is like wide open. It's like waiting by the phone kind of a thing, you know, kind of a feeling. All right. They can do it. Whether or not they find the stability to do it, well, that's, that's going to... Well, it's up to them, really. It's up to their free will, but the energy is there. Let's shuffle the deck here. Let's find out what your person's thinking and feeling about you right now. Three cards and a crossing card. All right. Are we ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Cards are ready, too. I'll show you the crossing card first. This will be crossing the center card I pull. It's the world. <laughs> the most powerful card in the major. It is. I just got done telling you. I did. Rewind. I said the energy's there. It's, it's there. I mean, it, there's no reason this person should not be reaching out to you. In fact, it's something they want to do. Okay? How they feel about you, you're different. And I've said that to you before. You know, that's there's an energy here that, that if they come your way, it's completely different to what they used to be. A different type of relationship. One based on love instead of pentacles. And, you know, one that isn't as practical but is more emotional, that kind of thing. And, and your, pe your people, your runners have a hard time processing emotions. But they're getting better at it. I'm finding that in the energy. All right? We may, tomorrow on Saturday, at some point, I'm, obviously the weekly reading's coming, but we may do a... Uh, soulmate to uh, twin twin flame journey update you know see where we split the divine masculine and feminine and see where we're at with it let's pull some cards wow the wheel of fortune this is powerful energy you guys i wasn't worried about this i knew this wasn't going to be bad news and ace of pentacles <laughs> jesus christ and the two of wands and that that backs up everything i just said about you in fact these cards are read center left right so what I've got here is I've got the world crossing an ace of pentacles. Again, it, this reading just backs up what are they thinking and feeling about you. You're, you're something very different for them. I mean, the wheel is turning. I see that. I see that this, it's taken this person a long time. Okay? We're, you're, the reason it's taken long, I think the world is trying to tell me the reason it's taken so long in part is because the energy wasn't right. They weren't really feeling that they could do it. They were e it was easy for them to be in and out. And like I've said in the new cycle that we're in, the new core energy cycle, in and out isn't tolerated. I I'm getting this here as it's taken a long time, but, but this person also knows that you're the shit. And I phrase it like that. They know that you're the shit. They know they've got to come right, like the kids like to say. But this is, this is the most interesting part of this, actually, in spite of the world, is the Wheel of Fortune is red with the Two of Wands. Again, it's what I said. What they're used to is this shit over here. Whatever this is, they're not even paying attention to it. All right? They're holding on to your stick. And yeah, that's a euphemism. But they are. They're holding on to, <laughs> holding on to your stick, looking out the window at something brand new. And it scares the living crap out of them. Now, I'm not clarifying. Uh, this is a soulmate energy short, but I am going to take a look at what's crossing the world here, okay? And what's crossing the world is the Three of Pentacles. Again, um, with you, it's something completely different. It would be solid. It would be real. Three of Pentacles is building on a solid foundation. It's two people working together, all right? They don't have that. And, and they know that. So how they feel about you is your, your new horizons. You're a whole new world for them. You're something very special. I can phrase it that way. All right? You're something very special. The Four of Swords is underneath that. Okay? 
again, this person, they got to find the nerve to come in and talk to you. And I think they will in the upcoming week. We'll have to see what happens in tomorrow's weekly reading for the week of the 8th through the 14th. But I can tell you, um, I, I think there's going to be some bravery that shows up in that reading. I, I believe that's true. Let's just take a look at what's under the uh, four of uh, uh, swords there. What wants to reveal itself is temperance. See what I'm saying? Balanced energy. Energy balancing out a little bit. So how they think it, what are they thinking and feeling about you right now that, that they think you're pretty damn special? They probably, re this whole reading is a great big I fucked up upright, right? They screwed up. Could have had an ace of pentacles. This is, this is building on a solid foundation too. Uh, just, just like that, that three of uh, pentacles that's underneath this world card. This here is a good solid new beginning. In fact, it's the most solid new beginning in the deck. So the energy is reflecting that way too. The wheel is turning here. I think somebody's going to make a move towards you because you are pretty special. They just got to get the nerve up to do it. Or maybe for some of them, they, they need to heal a little more. They need to let go of something, right? That's what this card is talking about, letting go of something or someone. But yeah, for, for a lot of them, they have to let go of how they've been living or who, who they've been living with to come, whoops, to come toward you and the whole new world. But also for a few of you anyway, not all of you, this energy appears to me, the way I feel it, to be holding on to something that happened between the two of you. They need to let that go. And once they let that go, they probably come in like a tidal wave. All right? That's your reading. I hope it was helpful. I hope it helps somebody sleep better tonight to know you're pretty special to this person. I can tell you that. Uh, you are definitely better than what they're used to. But that can sometimes scare the crap out of people, especially if they got healing t uh, and pains from the past they haven't worked on. All right? And if they've been surrounded by toxic energy for a while, it can be hard. You get used to it, right? Yeah. Well, like Tom Petty once sang, even the losers get lucky sometimes. It's true. This person got lucky when they meet you. When, when they met you. Meet you. When they met you. I'm inventing a new language here. All right? It's, it's English V2. Um, they did. They got damn lucky. And they fucked it up. That's why I say it's I fucked up upright here is the whole reading. I could feel that in the energy for sure. That's your reading. I hope it was helpful. I hope you'll stay tuned for the weekly reading tomorrow on Saturday and maybe a, a Twin Flame Journey update as well if I can get to it in the afternoon. All right. All right, you guys. Uh, if you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. All right. Good luck.